I never, never would have guessed that I would be able to make a living doing art. When I was a little child, I started drawing, just doodling. I'd pretty much go outside and play or go inside and draw. Never really had any formal training other than two drawing classes in ninth grade, which I didn't learn anything from. Started drawing realism, I guess, at an early age. You know, just birds that would see on the bird feeder out in the backyard. I would draw them and then look them up in the Audubon book to identify them. My family is from Elkhart, Indiana, uh, the RV capital of the world. I knew Elkhart was not going to be my home. There was no culture there. You know, we had to go to Chicago if we wanted to see a good show or something like that. Ferris Bueller's Day Off really inspired me and my friend to uh, skip school every few weeks. We'd go to the museum, uh, the Art Institute. I remember seeing uh, Rene Magritte's exhibit. Uh, I really liked the classical and Baroque style artwork. Caravaggio is probably one of my favorites. Went to uh, Cedarville College, and uh, that's what got me familiar with the uh, Miami Valley. I had no idea what I wanted to do, so I figured get that good general degree of organizational communications. I had a couple sales jobs, tried out a few different careers and just searching for something I really enjoyed. You know, I had jobs that paid a lot of money, but it was just, it was acting is what it was. You take enough classes in communications and you know the right things to say. It just wasn't me. I'd get home at the end of the day and I was just stressed out. I was driving around in a non-air conditioned Jeep Wrangler in a suit and tie. It was about 95 degrees out, and I stopped in Yellow Springs to hang out with some of my college friends that live there. They're sitting around drinking beers and playing video games, and I was just like, well, why aren't I doing this now? <laughs> you know? I mean, it just seemed like a lot more fun. I was like, just hang out and enjoy it right now, because I don't know what I want to do. I don't, didn't want to do that job. I just walked in on Monday morning in shorts and a tank top. I was like, sorry, you got the wrong guy. You know, this just isn't for me, and uh, started a new life. Yellow Springs was fun. I had a great group of friends, and it's really easy to be lazy there. You know, I'm sure a lot of people might not like that, but they know what I'm talking about. It was around my time I turned 30, and I just felt like I need to do something. I need to find a career. I've been kind of in the tattoo business selling artwork to tattoo shops. I approached Brian here and got an apprenticeship with him. Even though I've been drawing my whole life, it was like trial by fire. When you're a kid and you're drawing skulls and flames and flying eyeballs and stuff like that, you know, drawing the Van Halen logo and things. And then next thing, this girl wants a little flower, you know, with a heart and some wings. And I'm like, I, I don't know how to draw that, <laughs> you know? So you really have to just, it's amazing how much you learn. I tell people I think it's one of the hardest mediums to learn. Every day, I've got a different person with different skin and a different body part. It is challenging. My mom, she said, well, isn't there anything else you can do with your art? And I said, and make money? No, it's pretty difficult, <laughs> you know? If you're a well-paid painter, you're like one in a million. What's going to happen to our son? You know, next thing he's going to be in jail, robbing liquor stores or something, you know. And then once they realized that I was still the same boy that they raised and I was very happy, they, they couldn't be more thrilled. They're 100% supportive of me. One thing we do at Truth and Triumph Tattoo is we work hard. We moved in and really cleaned up this property here, landscaped it real nice. I think a lot of people were kind of leery about having a tattoo shop come in until they saw what we did with the property. We've got a lot of religious art around the shop. That's a very common thing for tattoos. There's a few of us that go to church, and Brian just came up with the idea, the classic Sacred Heart Jesus, but wearing one of our shirts, and you know, people love it. Like if Jesus were to come back and get tattooed, he'd probably get it done here. So. <laughs> All right, let's see there. The greatest man in the world, so I buy this book. And then the next night, cool. 
Coming into a tattoo shop for a lot of people can be very uh, a frightening experience. You're spending hours with this person, touching them, inflicting pain on them. The corporate world that I was in, everything was customer service oriented. It kind of spilled over. I would carry a conversation with them and ask them about their life. It was awesome. But the thing was, after doing that, you know, as soon as we left, we got right out of there. My dad was like, well. And I think you need to like the person that's doing the work on you. <laughs> Instead of waiting for hours, you know, it was just like in and out. We get all different kinds, ex-cons, pastors, detectives, police officers, teachers, you name it. My clientele is probably at least 70% women. I think the style that I do, a lot of it's a little more painterly, you know, a little bit softer look. With the downturn of the economy, a lot of people were constantly asking us how business was, but really I don't think it's been affected at all. In a recession, sometimes chocolate sales go up a lot because you can buy something for yourself that makes you feel good like an affordable luxury. People seem like they're, you know, happy to part with that money to get something they're going to have forever, even when things might be tight. There's a lot of stuff going on around here, so I'm real positive about it. This is my home, and I only see it getting better. I, I love tattooing. I always tell people I haven't worked a day in years. All I do is show up and listen to music and draw on people. It's awesome. So I, th I think I've made the right move.